to watching Media Life from a news hub here at Addis Kanda in Accra. Stories gone by brought you updates on the evacuees. That's 17 of them who have currently touched down at the Kutoka International Airport following efforts by the Foreign Affairs Ministry to get them to safety. There are several others who remain stranded in the Sumi region in Ukraine. We'll be getting in touch with them sometime for the latest on that. Also just gone by Nagrat and Allied Teacher Unions calling for salary increases there. Let's take a step away from that. The Member of Parliament for Jabuso, Kwabna Minta Kando, has called on Ghanaians to fast and pray against the majority in Parliament to have all its numbers if it seeks to approve the controversial electronic levy. There is growing fear amongst members of Parliament, especially from the minority side, over the unavoidable absence of some majority MPs with no explanation from leadership. Has been struggling over the past three months to get the e levy through and passed in parliament. The strategy now, after a tough hurdle, is public engagement. The directive from the leadership of the majority to its members is for them to also engage their constituents on the need for the tax. <laughs> While at it, the NDC minority has also been countering it. So today was an opportunity for me to brief them about the e-levy. And so from the response I gathered, it is their hope that this e-levy never be passed. And the only way, the only way this e-levy will never be passed is for, is for the MPP not to have their full complement. And so that is, that is a, it's a genuine prayer. Pray yes, it's a genuine prayer. It's, it's a genuine prayer. In fact, some of them should fast to, to pray that the MPP in Parliament will never have their full complement in order to pass the levy. It's a genuine prayer. The Member of Parliament for the Jaboso constituency, Kwamina Minta Kando, while commissioning two separate community-based health planning services, chips compound at the cost of 250 thousand cities each with essential medical equipment and supplies at New Somanye and Kwesia Daikrum says Ghanaians must brace themselves for severe hardship under the MPP administration. To change the dynamics it will not, now people will not travel from here to Bunsun Kwanta or they will not travel from here to Jaboso any longer but they will first assess the health I mean, care from this particular point. The health facilities have two female wards, a consulting dispensary and an accommodation for the health officials.